This is Star Talk. And now for the part of Star Talk we call How Tweet It Is. And all I do here really is go back to some tweets I posted and reflect on them, give some of the backstory. And right now I've got with me in studio Bill Nye. So who, good to be here. Who can, co-tweeting. Co-tweeting. He's a tweeter himself. Finally, you change your science guy. Uh, hey, somebody let it go, so I was able to snare it. Bill Nye. Yeah. They, 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 so the now squatter you, let up, now so you're I was able to Bill get Nye. on there. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Very nice. February 17th, uh, 2015, was really cold in New York. And people started saying, well, there's no global warming. So I thought, let me find the 10 coldest ever recorded temperatures in New York. And it was back more than a century, but less than two centuries. Less than two centuries. See, that's the record, the database. And the, all 10 coldest temperatures occurred before 1944, Yeah, as an example. So I posted them all in Fahrenheit. And then people say, what, Fahrenheit? It's surprising. But you then as I, an astronomer. Then, plus, then I realized that I have a lot of followers around the world, and no one else uses Fahrenheit. So then I resubmitted them in Celsius, okay? Yeah. But then- They're I, still colder. It's, <laughs> then I said, while I'm doing it, let me keep going, and I then I gave them all in Kelvins. <laughs> so, Kelvins, yes. yeah, yeah. So I said the ten coldest temperatures ever recorded in New York City: two hundred fifty-two, 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 two hundred fifty-one, two hundred fifty-one, two hundred fifty-one, two hundred forty-eight. We only have three minutes. Two hundred forty-seven Kelvins, uh, all before nineteen forty-four. And it turns out people were more enchanted with that tweet than the Fahrenheit tweet or even the Celsius tweet. Well, you built a following of uh, temperature monitors, <laughs> and notice everybody you don't you don't say degrees Kelvin. The Kelvin is its own unit. Exactly, it's Kelvin's. So I said, okay, if you're a Kelvin weenie, then perhaps your favorite cold temperature, because someone asked me what's my favorite temperature. Your favorite cold temperature is clearly zero. Well, maybe it's or three. But three it's, Kelvin. Background. What's background temperature? Three degrees Kelvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two point seven. Uh, three. three Kelvins. Kelvins. Yeah. And my so work is never done, people. <laughs> where. And, of course, the zero degrees Kelvin intersects the Rankine scale. The Rankine. Tell yeah. us what the Rankine scale Rankin is. Rankine uh, is... Mr. The, engineer? Yeah, Rankine is a Scottish engineer who established an absolute temperature scale with Fahrenheit degrees. As opposed to uh, Kelvin. Kel- Kelvin, which is an absolute temperature scale with Celsius or centigrade, old, old nomenclature degrees. And you have to have it. You cannot do air conditioning pr- problems. We would not be able to have this conversation. You would not have fuel injection in cars. Heck, we wouldn't have had steam engines to get the whole industrial age started if we didn't understand absolute temperatures nice nice and so the ranking scale and kelvin scale equal at zero but after that they go off their merry ways yeah sure. and my favorite temperature it's 460 a ranking is very close to 460 below uh, zero below zero fahrenheit fahrenheit and so my favorite temperature in the in uh on fahrenheit and celsius is what of course uh, zero? Is, no, no, no. no. Uh, 40 minus below. 40. Yeah, 40 below. Yeah, that's where they cross. That's everybody. where they cross. Exactly. If you, if you have two ladders have rungs dis- different distance apart, different height apart, but at some place the two rungs on the, the l- rungs on the two ladders line up, and that's minus 40 Celsius or minus 40 Fahrenheit. Back to you, Neil. You got it. That's been Star Talk Radio. I'm your host, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Bill, thanks for helping me out here on How Tweet It Is. As always, I bid you to keep looking up. This is Star Talk.